They're coming to the quarter pole. And still, as they turn for home, Ravallo and Imperial Council with Congressional Page in third. Together, Indy looks for an open lane behind that trio. Not for Silver is fifth. They're coming to the eighth pole. Imperial Council, Congressional Page. Together, Indy far outside. And Ravallo backs up down toward the rail to third. Final eighth mile of the Commonwealth. Not for Silver runs late outside of Together, Indy. And still, Congressional Page toward the inside. But Together, Indy gets the best of them all and takes it for Kent DeSormo. Together, Indy to take it from Congressional Page, close for third in the Commonwealth. Race 7, the Grade 2 Commonwealth, the 24th running to number 1, Together Indy, owned by R.A. Hill Stable of Raymond Day Hill III, owned also by Vic Fontana. George Weaver trains and Kent DeSormo rides the winner, Together Indy, a four-year-old son of Not For Love, bred in New Jersey by Rock Talk Farm, LLC. Trophy presentation for the Commonwealth, Dora Delgado, Senior Vice President, Racing and Nominations for Breeders' Cup, makes the presentation to the connections of Together Indy. We're here on the Keeneland Turf Course with the winning connections in the Commonwealth. We'll start with the jockey, Kent DeSormo. Tell us about your trip. Well, it was eventful to say the least, but uh, I think the most important part was in the paddock, Mr. Weaver, the trainer. Knew him very well. He told me he had um, tried to put some speed into him in the mornings and wanted me to use it this afternoon. So uh, I think the first 50 yards won the race. He got in the race uh, via his training. And um, the rest of the race was also eventful, though I was working diligently just to get him a path to let him stretch his legs. Finally got it inside the 316th pole, and you saw what he did the rest of the way. He took that aim at the leaders and uh, won the race. Congratulations. Thank you. Candace Sormo, the winning rider. <clears throat> Let's talk to the winning trainer now of... Uh, Together, Indy, tell us about the, uh, the pre preparation for this race. What gave you confidence that he would handle this surface? Well, I saw the horse train uh, a long time ago back in Ocala over the synthetic surface, and he had trained very well. Um, you know, we needed the race at Gulfstream, and this race was coming up to my liking. And I said, you know what, we need to take a chance. This race is going to be a short field, and uh, I think this horse is doing really well, so we decided to roll the dice. Seven furlongs is kind of a specialty distance. Is it right in his wheelhouse? I think he can handle six, seven, even a, fl uh, a one-term mile. We've even thought he's pretty good on the grass as well, but um, we've got a lot of options in front of us, so we're excited. What's next? I don't know. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to take him back home and, and uh, see how he is, and we'll pick something soon. Enjoy this one. Thank you very much. It's George Weaver, the winning trainer in the Commonwealth. 